Are you looking for one simple drill that can make a huge difference? You need to set up your throw correctly. That's critical to setting up your entire throw and speeding up success. So let's check it out. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Coach Johnson from Airtay Dose Nation. In today's video, we are gonna talk about the start. We get DMs, please help me understand the throw. And what we always talk about is a chain reaction. And, and if you've seen our videos and we talk about the six pillars of throw, remember the chain reaction works twofold. You either set up a good chain reaction or you set up a bad chain reaction. I always like those examples. You know, we talk about those really intricate domino chains where it's like thousands of dominoes and all these things are going and falling. And so what happens is with those dominoes, right? If I take, you know, 10,000 dominoes and I take that first domino and it's supposed to fall and hit and trigger the rest of the dominoes. And I take that first domino and I put it six inches away and it falls. 9,999 dominoes don't do anything. So it just tells you that is the same principle with throwing. If I set up the throw correctly, we are going to throw and we're going to have a much better chance of throwing correctly. Now, there are some athletes who intuitively have a better start. There are some athletes who have a very difficult time with separating the lower body from the upper body. So now what we're going to do is when we have to understand that basically what the start of the throw is, you know, inside the throwing chain reaction, we set this up and we teach how do we create very specific position. So I'll come over here and we'll do the same thing. So you're gonna notice we're gonna set up the wind and you're gonna see me create this nice long entry so that I'm gonna create this. If we're in the shot put, we're gonna see the same thing. We're gonna see how we're gonna set up the wind and then we're gonna be able to hinge and that's my pillar one and two. Now here's the thing, you have to set up the start correctly. So one of the things that we've talked about for years is a simple cue to help you guys understand how to wind. Now, now, remember, what's part of the goal of setting up a windup, whether it's the shot? Why, why doesn't everybody just start and go or just start the discus and go? Because those are called static and you're losing the dynamic motion of the throw, right? Now, one of the things we talk about is that one of the key goals when we're setting up the discus is we have to stay center because the shoulders separate from the hips, right? And that's really important. So if you ever come to a camp or you're in a member of our throwing chain reaction system, you'll see that we're gonna go into depth. We have 11 drills just for teaching this. So here's one of those simple things. We're gonna give you one of those simple drills today. So one of the first things you wanna do is understand, we call this a wind up one. A wind up one is where you're not gonna move the feet, knees, or hips because you're learning how to create separation. Now, if you haven't checked out our videos on are you wasting your time with the bench press, or are you wasting your time with the squat? I highly would recommend you check those out because in there I'm gonna explain why something like this simple move is actually really difficult for you. So if you sit here and you wind here, the wind up one is in, in designed to teach you how to create separation. That means my hips are facing this way, my shoulders are facing this way. And remember in the discus you have two types of separation. So remember, we, we hit separation because we're gonna be trying to learn how to create a dynamic response that is gonna help me feel this and create this shift into the throw. Some of the common mistakes we see are this. We see the athletes mm. turning the hips and turning the shoulders. Now there's gonna be multiple reasons for that. And then we talk about that and we have drills to address all these different reasons. Now, where's the position of the shoulder? Sometimes if the shoulders of athletes are winding too far back, a lot of times athletes are shifting. And so that's what this drill helps you do is to feel kind of that comfort point. So you're gonna notice if you're sitting too far back and you try to do this, you're gonna wind yourself out of position. This is one of the things that happens with a lot of throwers, they wind themselves out of position. So they sit back too far and then they go here and now they're gonna cut into the throw, they're gonna be off balance. So a lot of times when people are DMing, hey, how do I increase speed in my throw? It's because, well, if you're falling off balance, you're not on balance. Imagine a sprinter, imagine Usain Bolt, fastest guy ever, world record holder, and he's stumbling to the side when he's trying to run this way. Guess what, he's not gonna win that race, he's gonna get DQ'd if he comes out of his lane, and he's losing precious time. So if he starts and stumbles to his 
outside to the left or to the right, that's going to be bad. So when we're throwing, remember, we're trying to move across the circle, right? And we're trying to move this way. So if I turn, if I shift, what does physics say? I'm going to fall. I don't want to be shifting and falling into the ring. Now if I'm falling, I'm going to do a host of different things. I might be opening my chest and my arm because I'm trying to regain my balance. I'm going to screw up my sweep. you got to create balance. And the first things first to get right is to set up the start right. And this is one of our bread and butter drills. is a real good one. But this is actually, I want to say, it's like number eight out of our drills on pillar one. So this is a, a good drill though. And so you might want to try, and we do this in our throwing progressions where you just do a wind up one start and it teaches you how to move around that axis a whole lot easier. This is a really good drill that's going to help a lot of you guys and coaches out there, but you can't just stick with this drill. You have to learn how to set up the axis correctly so that I'm rotating, right? This is my, we call it the entry hinge. So this is what we have to learn. We will, there's more in there. So hopefully that helps you guys today. Get yourself on balance, stay centered up, try the wind up once, you know, drill and wind and throw. And again, if you guys like this video, be sure to comment below more. We'd like to see, uh, give us a thumbs up, hit that notification button. So you'll know when these videos come out. And if you'd like more about the throwing chain reaction system, how to improve your throw, master those two seconds, click the link below in the description and we will see you there. Okay guys, see you on the next video.